Hey guys, it's Alex here, and today I've got another After Effects tutorial for you. And this time I'm going to be going over this sort of light ring. Now, I have seen tutorials on this before, but I've decided to do it a slightly different way, and I think it maybe looks a bit better because you can see it sort of actually blends onto the, the scope because I've seen ones where it's just, it sort of just looks like it is actually, you know, just being put on there. And you can't, and there's just a lot, like you can see there's a sort of glow around the edges and it actually sort of affecting the gun, which I think makes it look a lot nicer. But obviously it's for you to make up your decision, but uh, I thought I'd just go over it anyway. Because uh, I am running out of tutorial ideas already, so if you do have any, just leave them and I would be happy to make them or in alternatively send me a video of it if there's a nice effect that you like and I could try and recreate it which would be great for me and also you because you get to learn how to do it and it would give me a new video to make. So anyway, we'll get into it. So I'm just going to delete this uh, layer and I'm just going to, first of all, make we need to make a new solid. Now we need to make it 720 by 720, which will make just a square. So, and uh, I'm going to pick orange um, just because it will match my color correction. So we have our orange layer and I'm going to drag this above my clip but, and as you can see the color correction makes it look pretty cool and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to our ellipse tool and we're then going to double click on this button which will make a mask of our um, square into a circle and then what we can do is we can hit M on our keyboard once and then we can hit Control D on mask 1 to make mask 2 which will just duplicate it and then we can change mask 2 to subtract and then we can hit mm on our keyboard and then on mask 2 we can just bring the subtraction the mask expansion sorry down like that so now we have our ring and we can make this now a 3d layer if you can't see this just click f4 i'm going to click the 3d cube and we're just going to hit r on our keyboard and then hold shift and then hit s so now we have scale and our rotation. I'm just going to scale this down. I think I used about 32, but obviously make it the size that's going to fit your gun, you know. Oh, good. And then uh, well, I'm just going to put the Y rotation around a bit because as you can see, our gun is slightly rotated and I can't seem to move this. Oh my God. There we go. So you would probably want to maybe uh, keyframe this onto the gun because the guns are likely to be moving But I won't waste time doing that. I'll just get straight into it. So now we'll, now I've positioned it all up. We will go layer Pre-compose and we will move all attributes into composition and we can call this light ring uh, Sorry for loud keyboard and click OK. So that's moved it into its own composition now and now what we can do is, this is where it gets looking pretty cool, is we will type in shine. Now you will need a trap called shine for this. Uh, I'm sure most people have it these days. So yeah, so we can drag that on and straight away you can see we get some sort of cool effects. But the cool thing happens when you increase the boost light like so. And as you can see, we get this really quite look, nice looking ring and now what I always like to do is colorize it uh, so I did have an orange and it's gone a bit red but I want to keep it orange because as you can see it sort of matches my color correction so we've got some like orange uh, exposure going on and stuff I think I'm actually just gonna uh, I'm actually just gonna go into the light ring and I'm just gonna move it up a tad and now if I go back into my main it should update so Another thing that I thought we could add, we could add a bit of glow. So then if we go to stylize glow, drag that on. And now what we can also do is we can go, instead of original colors, we can make it A and B colors. And now we can make it our own colors. So I'm just gonna go for a light orange like that. And then for color B, I'll go for a more darker orange like that. So now we have like sort sort of a more glow. Now how I sort of got the glow on the gun a bit more was I added a fast blur, and this will just it because it's quite harsh at the moment. But if we just put this up to ten, and then hit the repeat edge pixel, you can see it just it makes it a lot more subtler. 
and subtle and yeah it just looks a bit nicer and then also something i was thinking we can maybe add was radial blur i don't know i was just messing around with this i thought it looked all right so we can drag that on underneath and it's a bit weird at the moment but we could change this to zoom and we can drag this little slider up just to give us some more depth in our blur and then you can also you know just fiddle around with the grid like so so there you have it that's looking pretty cool and that is about it guys so that was just something quick remember to keep on bringing those submission uh giving me those uh, tutorial ideas and i will be happy to make a video on them um this baker edit that i've been doing is taking forever and i i just don't have the time to hold the edit at the moment it's just taking a long time to do but uh, hopefully i'll get it done i don't know the deadline's coming around pretty quick but anyway that's about it so i will see you on the next one guys thank you for watching